Out of these troubled times, our fifth objective, a new world order can emerge, a new era, freer from the threat of terror, stronger in the pursuit of justice, and more secure in the quest for peace. An era in which the nations of the world, east and west, north and south, can prosper and live in harmony. A hundred generations have searched for this elusive path to peace, while a thousand wars raged across the span of human endeavor. And today that new world is struggling to be born. A world quite different from the one we've known. A world where the rule of law supplants the rule of the jungle. A world in which nations recognize the shared responsibility for freedom and justice. A world where the strong respect the rights of the weak. We have before us the opportunity to forge for ourselves and for future generations a new world order, a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. When we are successful, and we will be, we have a real chance at this new world order, an order in which a credible United Nations can use its peacekeeping role to fulfill the promise and vision of the UN's founders. What is at stake is more than one small country. It is a big idea, a new world order, where diverse nations are drawn together in common cause to achieve the universal aspirations of mankind, peace and security, freedom and the rule of law. Such is a world worthy of our struggle and worthy of our children's future. Now we can see a new world coming into view. A world in which there is the very real prospect of a new world order. In the words of Winston Churchill, a world order in which the principles of justice and fair play protect the weak against the strong. A world where the United Nations, freed from Cold War stalemate, is poised to fulfill the historic vision of its founders. George Herbert Walker Bush. Daddy War Bush. The news is in at the age of 94. He is dead and in hell. This man is not a Christian, George Bush Sr. or Jr. They are not Christians. They worship the lowercase g god of this world, the devil, Lucifer. They acknowledge Moloch. They participate in the wicked sacrifices that go on at Bohemian Grove. Thank God that George Bush Sr. is dead, and thank God that he is righteous. Thank God that God himself is righteous enough to cast him into hell forever. George H.W. Bush died at the age of 94, and he will spend eternity in hell for rejecting the God of the Bible, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Creator and the Savior.